Okay. All right. So we're recording now. Yep. Looks like we're recording. Okay. So I'm going to start where from where I got cut off last time. I apologize uh, for for that. So on page 85 of uh, the uh, July August 2010 Living Buddhism Nichiren Daishan and the Vodhi of the Lotus Sutra. So Buddhism had long predicted that conflict and confusion would arise among practitioners during practitioners during the age the sutras describe as the latter day of the law. The age in which the Daishonin lived. Uh, regarding this period, Nichiren often quoted Chakyamuni Buddha in a passage from the Great Collection Sutra, quote, Crawls and disputes will arise among the adherents to my teachings, and the pure law will become obscured, uh, obscured and lost. Unquote. That's from the selection of the time. Um, so it was clear to Nichiren from this and other sutra passages that by the latter day the Buddhist teachings had become corrupted and could no longer relieve the people's suffering. Um, with this conviction, Nichiren commenced his practice of shakabuku, the propagation of his teaching aimed at breaking through people's strongly held delusions and enabling them to recognize and believe in the most fundamental of all principles, the mystic law. His efforts provoked an intense reaction. He was slandered and defamed by the public and severely persecuted by political authorities who exiled and nearly executed him. Nitrin's immense compassion and vow to remove the suffering of all humanity, however, served as his motivation to persevere in the face of these persecutions. Um, okay, so I'm just going to keep reading and, you know, if a thought occurs to me, I'll share it with y'all. Um, so, page 86, the vow to lead all people to happiness. Um, so, um, beginning with his prayer as a young man to become the wisest person in all Japan, Nichiren Daishonin expressed his intention to master the Buddhist teachings in order to arrive at the way to relieve the misery he witnessed in society. After traveling throughout Japan to study the Buddhist scriptures, he concluded that the Lotus Sutra was supreme among all Buddhist sutras and affirmed his mission to propagate the core principle of that sutra, the mystic law, or nam myoho renge kyo um, Nichiren compares his mission to that of Bodhisattva superior practices, uh, the leader of the Bodhisattvas of the earth. Um, in the Lotus Sutra, Shakyamuni Buddha entrusts superior practices as the leader of the Bodhisattvas of the earth to spread the essence of the Lotus Sutra in the latter day of the law, when the entire body of Buddhist doctrine uh, would be near extinction. Fully understanding that the person who spreads the teaching of the Lotus Sutra will be abused, struck, exiled, and threatened with execution, Nichiren was prepared for the great persecutions that would result from his efforts to establish his teaching. In fact, he viewed these persecutions as proof that he was correctly spreading the Buddha's highest teaching. On the 20th day of the fourth month in 1253, at Sejoji Temple, where he had begun his education, Nichiren refuted the Pure Land school teachings and boldly chanted Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, publicly declaring for the first time the correct teaching for the happiness of the people of the latter day of the law. Rather than the establishment of a new Buddhist order, this is more accurately considered the establishment of a religious principle, the essential law of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, also, this was the occasion when Nichiren, as the Bodhi of the Lotus Sutra, dedicated his life to the emancipation of the people of the latter day, and from that day on, he never retreated despite great obstacles and persecutions. So, I didn't know what emancipation uh, meant, so I looked it up. Emancipation means to liberate, and um, it comes from the Latin emancipius, which means slave, and e which is short for X, which means uh, to um, liberate. So, X mancipidium um, is the same thing, uh, freedom from slavery 
it's like the same thing um, that way. Um, so, um, yeah. So, it, so what is what was he freeing the people of Japan from? Well, um, you know, back in those days, um, the church and the state were uh, not separate. They were together. They had an alliance, a political alliance, and and um you know um they basically um you know misled the people into thinking that they were powerless to um you know they didn't have any power over their destiny so um what nutrient daishana wanted to do was uh, empower them and because of the top-down style of uh, governance that was present at the time um he even if he did this grassroots, which he did, in many ways he did it both grassroots and top down, um, he would incur persecution. It was, it was the, the, he didn't really have a choice. Um, and sometimes, you know, like we, we will find in our lives that we don't have a choice. Um, as a matter of fact, in another Gosho, Nitra Nashon says you may abhor this life, but you really is no escape. You gotta face the music. So um, I think for, you know, even at a micro level in each of our lives, we have no choice but to face the music and do what needs to be done. And uh, in terms of our practice, I think doing what needs to be done is, you know, chanting Nami Horenge Kyo every morning and evening, studying the teachings and other teachings that resonate and help us to understand Buddhism, and uh, and uh, that's, that's let's see, practice study, practice for others, like you know, um, going to meetings or helping other people, um, and then uh, of course, uh, yeah. So practice for you, yeah. practice for yourself, practice for others, faith, and then faith, faith comes from repeatedly challenging and uh, having, you know, victory after victory. Um, okay, so at this time, he changed his name from uh, Rencho, explaining, quote, my giving myself the name Nichiren, Sun Lotus, derives from my own enlightenment regarding the Buddha vehicle, unquote. In other words, he changed his name as an expression of his profound awareness of the law and the Buddha's enlightenment and of his determination to fulfill the mission of Bodhisattva's superior practices. The character Nietzsche of Nichiren indicates the sun. The Lotus Sutra states, quote, As the light of the sun and moon can banish all obscurity and gloom, so this person as he advances through the world can wipe out the darkness of living beings. Unquote. Regarding this passage, Nishin explains that it is the role of Bodhisattva's superior practices to illuminate the darkness of ignorance with the five characters of nam myoho renge kyo I believe that we ourselves um, also carry out this practice by, you know, again at the micro level, just by chanting and studying and illuminating our own lives with the power and inspiration of the law that's embedded in each one of us. Uh, as well as um, spreading that good cheer around. The mystic law shines like the sun within the life of a person awakened to that law. Its brilliance is expressed in one's character, speech, and behavior, which in turn can dispel the darkness of suffering that hangs over people's lives. So, you know, like sometimes I'll read these passages and I'll think, wow, I'm not, I'm not really feeling it, you know, but the fact that we do uh, morning and evening gongyo and do this practice when we're feeling it and when we're not is exactly what this passage is talking about. It causes the mystic law to shine within our lives even though sometimes we can't see it because of the delusions, our own delusions. Um, Ren of Nichiren indicates the lotus flower which blossoms beautifully despite the murky pond in which it grows. This is a metaphor for the mystic law, the life condition of Buddhahood, that blossoms purely within the lives of ordinary human beings, no matter how impure or imperfect they may be. So, um, hearing this passage gives me tremendous joy because I know that I'm really imperfect 
and I know I'm really impure, but you know, the mystic law shines within me and I'm able to blossom forth and uh, draw nourishment even from all these kinds of properties. Ren thus expresses the inherent dignity and preciousness of human life. Okay, so I think I'm kind of caught up to where I wanted to be last time and I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and um, we'll do another one of these in approximately a week. Um, a lot of material to cover and I hope you all find this useful. Thank you very much.